Hello and welcome, Cancerians. Welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Much appreciated. Now, um, a couple of things before we get into the reading, just, um, you know, um, just because it's November. Number one, November is the 11th month. 11th, 11 is the strongest number there is. It's a double digit number, a same double digit number, which means it's a master number. That obviously is the strongest number there is. And therefore, a higher energy, a more purposeful energy will be accompanying, accompanying us all, uh, all throughout November. Right? So that obviously sounds very positive, and it is, but the full moon will likely mess things up um, quite a bit for some and a little bit for others, because um, the full moon in November is also a lunar eclipse. And what that means, I will explain in another video that, that you can uh, watch here on the, um, on the channel, we are done with this one which is the full moon 2022 general reading um, or the full moon reading for November. Check that out next. Here we go. What we will do here, Cancerians, we will look into um, or we will divide the reading slightly into sections so it is easier to actually, um, you know, make sense of it. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of November for your very sign before we will then look at uh, your emotional core, see if there's any uh, a trauma that can go, see what happens in, 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 in the realm of love and everything that has to do with your emotions before we then finally and lastly look at your opportunities or at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2022 for the sign of cancer. So with no further ado, let's just go right in. And with regards to the overall energy, you have the Ram. So what that means is, with regards to the energy, remember November is quite a strong energy, a more uh, a more driven energy than 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 um, actually most months um, in the year, and despite or regardless of the energy being super high in your case, Cancerians, you are asked to go things slow and take. So you take your time with whatever it is you're pursuing. In other words, while energies are higher and stronger and you probably will push through quite a few things that you previously may have found difficult to push through, you're still asked to not rush anything and to literally and, and simply not rush into anything. Right? Pace yourself. Really, really important. Detach yourself slightly and pace yourself. That's the overall energy for the month of November. Really, really important for you. And then, good thing is, we are going now to your emotional core. And here, you have the Kingfisher. I don't know if you can see this guy. Here we go. Now, the Kingfisher and the Hummingbird, um, and another guy that I can't remember now. <laughs> that animal, that animal guide, literally says to you, whatever happens to you, you will get through this, you will just be fine. Which means this is the month for you, especially with the stronger energy that you're having in November, is to allow yourself, again, this is about reflection. We said that earlier in the overall energy, pace yourself right. And when it comes to emotions, the energy that I'm getting is that there's like, oh, that doesn't work, maybe I try this. There's there's um, maybe too much going on too too fast, um, and maybe you trust the person that that is there for others all the time, and therefore doesn't get a chance to look at yourself. What you're being asked, with regards to your emotions, is to allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel. But the kingfisher can work any tree, no matter how crooked the tree is, and the tree, the crooked tree, represents your life. So what the kingfisher is saying, no matter what you've been through. We'll manage, and you will manage. But it feels to me, because the Kingfisher comes in um, and therefore talks about the crooked tree, <laughs> you ought to really acknowledge the, the damage that has been done to you and the 
the pain that you maybe still harbor and allow yourself to feel everything you feel and when it comes to letting it go while while it is important because in november you have a, a very um a very strong energy to actually push through things in your case still cancerians it's really really important um to allow yourself to do things at a slower pace now remember cancerians your governing planet is venus really really important it is the only planet that um orbits clockwise so spiritually speaking all the other planets are orbiting anti-clockwise when you actually look at it spiritually um when you do things anti-clockwise you literally take out what is no longer needed and venus is the only planet that puts harmony in even when you find yourself in situations where that's the last thing you need to do right stay in situations that aren't working lying to yourself thinking yeah okay um, there's a few things i have sort of witnessed that i don't like about the other person that's going to be all right because it might not be right it might not ever be so really really important here to understand that it is in your nature to not act super fast even when it is not in your interest to stay somewhere where you feel or your soul knows you may no longer belong sounds all a bit serious it's not meant that way but i'm getting this all about more uh, or more about um for those of you who are in relationships there rather than for those who are not currently uh, uh in a relationship if that makes sense right but then again um take it as it resonates okay lastly dear cancerians let's have a look at the um the opportunities now opportunities in november despite the fact that this is a very powerful month and despite the fact that this little ditch mid month because the the the, the full moon is around the 9th or the 10th i can't remember now but there is a there is going to be a dip also an, an energy dip um, but that doesn't last longer than, than four or five days. Point is, you have the panther. And the panther is literally a leopard. And the leopard has unique dots. And when the panther, when the, the leopard, or the, the, the jaguar, whatever you want to call it, sits inside the panther, there's a good chance when it comes to opportunities that would come to you, or maybe that do come to you, make sure you're not acting make sure you're not hiding how you truly feel about things when it comes to opportunities um you are not being you're not being upfront about stuff that then could turn turn into problems later um it's really important that you don't that you don't do that okay so that's all we got time for my dear friends um and i see you all next month please 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 like subscribe and share widely it does help me grow the channel and if you like my work remember you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas cancerians thank you so much see you next month